Hey guys, Retro John here, and uh, today I'm attempting to go over a review of the 2009 Star Trek Galaxy Collection from Playmates. Um, let's go ahead real quick and go over this horrible packaging. Now these came out in 2009. Uh, you can see that the packaging is just ridiculous um, all of the build pieces for the bridge stand out right in front the figures kind of in the background of the of the uh, the, the blister itself um, you got the logo the name what it comes with what part of the bridge it is um, we've got all the other characters in the line which I hate to say is the only deemable quality I have with these right now. <laughs> the fact that you got to know what all's in this. Uh, you got to see what um, the bridge looks like with the completed pieces, which we never got. Um, so yeah. Now, um, I tried to get all of these open with the exception of one, because I wanted to go over the packaging and I just wanted all the figures open. Um, I've been trying to open these for the last almost 45 minutes. I have two figures opened. That's it. Because, look at the ridiculousness of this. Look at all the damn twisty ties on this thing. There's twisty ties on the figure's arms, both legs, uh, the bridge accessory, the Damn action figure stand has a twisty tie holding it in. And I just want to note that this is the only figure I've, out of the three that I've come across like this. Uh, the, one of the other figures just had a twisty tie around the waist, another one had around the waist and one arm, uh, one had it on the um, bridge piece, and the other didn't. Um, None of the chairs that came with the set had twisty ties. This one does. The stand didn't have a twisty. None of the, neither stand had a twisty tie. This one has a twisty tie. This is just absurd. This is some of the most ridiculous packaging, and they're not consistent. And speaking, I want to go ahead and go over this real quick. Now, I had never planned on really opening these, and what got me to think of opening these is because, look at this. Look at this. Over time. It just decided to crack open on the top. And the only thing from keeping this completely opening is the fact that it has tape along the sides. That's it. That's the only thing keeping this thing from popping open on me. So I decided to open it up. I already had said issues that I had with the bridge um, it's in a previous video, but this is ridiculous. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pause and finish opening these up and hopefully finish my review. Um, I can already tell you out of the two figures I have opened, which is Kirk and Chekhov, I am not thrilled with these figures whatsoever. Um, right now, these are some of the worst figures I have ever owned. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. I'm going to go ahead and finish opening this guy. And I have, good Lord, I have seven more to open plus this. Uh, and these, and that's, and these twisty sides are so hard and rigid. I mean, look at that. <laughs> you can't. There's almost no give to them. So I'm not happy. Um, this is supposed to be for kids originally. Um, with teeny tiny parts, I guess. So yeah, I have so many issues with these, including simple issues with the stands. The <laughs> So, which aren't actually needed. I don't know. Let's go ahead, pause, I'll finish opening these, and I'll go ahead and continue the review. Okay, so here, no kidding, nearly an hour later, I finally have all the figures open, except for one, and I'll explain that in a moment. So, I want to go over the these five figures first. Um... So let's go ahead and just go from here to Kirk all the way down. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove 
this so I can um, oh, oh, oh. Okay, let's get it out of the way. All right, so this is our Captain Kirk figure. Um, Kirk here has his head articulation. Arms go forward and backward. And this is a single carded uh, Kirk. So as this is about his uh, his his arms do go from side to side at the elbow. This is about how far his elbows are gonna go. That's it. That's it. Uh, his hands do turn. This leg goes out backwards. This one can bend at the knee. Uh, there is swivel at the foot. And some of these, not all of them, actually have an ankle articulation. So, this leg can also can twist from side to side, bend at the knee slightly, and his foot also has that articulation. However, while this leg can go out, this leg can go out and back in. <laughs> out and it goes back in. out and back in um, problem with that is as you can see from the Kirk back here <laughs> he gets has to sit in the captain's chair chair Kirk It looks like Kirk is trying to let out a mean old fart. Um, so if he's going to sit in the chair, he's essentially going to um, just be leaning in the chair like that. That is horrible. That is unexcusable. And I have tried to work this leg out to where maybe I can get it to, you know to f kink out but it will just won't do it and I wish it can I can say it was just this Kirk figure but here we have check off check off leg goes out check off leg goes out and back in and back in um, all his other articulations fine But that leg, that's the same leg too. Look at that. Horrible. Dr. McCoy. Leg out. Leg out. Back in. Leg out. Goes back in. This is unexcusable. And I'm trying to work this out to where but it's not wanting to do it. Here, here's Sulu. Sulu now, I can, can fit both feet out. And he has all the same articulation as all the other figures. Here's the problem. No knee bend. It's supposed to bend at the knee. You can even tell right there. And here. And I had the same problem with this Kirk figure, and when I tried to force it, you can see what happened. So I'm not even going to try forcing it with the Sulu figure, because I don't want the end result. I don't have an extra Sulu figure. But isn't this something? This Kirk figure's legs are fine. Minus the missing. Now, this is horrible. I wish I could swap out the legs. What if I can? <laughs> uh... I don't know. 
I'll have to look later. Uh, we, oh, that's Kirk's. I'll go over accessories and everything in a bit. Yohura. Now this is almost a perfect figure. I'm going to come out and say it. Almost. She has the articulation, and I want to note that the hair does not hinder her head of movement. It's actually very pliable plastic. Uh, no articulation, which is fine, but very pliable. Her arms can go out, forwards, backwards. There are no bends at the elbows, because she doesn't have sleeves to cover it up. Uh, she doesn't have a waist articulation. Her legs, because of the skirt, although it is somewhat pliable, can't really move. So that is understandable. That is forgivable. Her, she does have the knee bends, which is pointless because she can't stand. Uh, and she does have swivel at the ankles. So why is this almost a decent figure? So you'll notice on these figures, and I'm going to use the broken Kirk as an example, the belts can slide right off and they don't have to have them on. And then, of course, just slide them right back on. Here. I'll do it again. Take it, slide it right up. There you go. However, your Hora's belt that is as far as it's going to go. Her belt does not come off. Unless you cut it off, it will not come off. <laughs> and what's really bad is the part where it stops is her butt. Her butt is blocking her belt from coming off. She has a big butt. Is that really necessary? Could they not make this a little bit more pliable like they did the other belts? I mean, the other belts have somewhat more of a, an almost an elastic give. Okay, a little harder elastic, but still. Hers will not come off. She is stuck with that on. She is going to be at her post with this belt on. So. But she does come with the phaser sad to kill very very sad very very sad now I want to go over another issue with these but I'm gonna get a lot of some of the all as many as much of the bad out of the way as I can these action figures come with stands uh, Cadet Chekhov and Cadet McCoy came with a gold gold stand. And all the other crew members came with the silver ones. With the little emblems on it. Okay. And they also made it, because this is supposed to be a kid's toy, where you can wear them. Wait, whoa, hold on. Did that... Seriously, just happen? That did seriously just happen. It just broke off on camera. Holy crap. Oh, does that come back on? It does snap back on. Hmm. Okay, now I'm curious. My initial complaint might be valid here. Invalid. Oh, uh, let's get check off put on the right one. I guess he has the gold one. Does it all do that? They all do that. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Good job. Alright. Well, okay. So my initial complaint was that they came with these uh, wearable stands. Uh, that had, let me see if I can get this back together. <laughs> Uh-oh. Help if I put it on correctly, huh? 
There we go. Okay, wearable stands. Uh, my initial complaint was I didn't know these came off. So when you put the action figure on the stand, which doesn't look like the peg is really, ah, it wouldn't stay because of the unbalance of this piece. But you can actually remove that and then stand your action figure on it. So, okay. Alright. One complaint. Uh, void or prohibited. <laughs> get that back in there. There we go. Okay, well, never mind. Okay, well, those complaints are done. Let's go ahead and go over the good figures. Um, the good figures. We have Pike. We've got Scotty. And we've got Spock. Uh, both have the same articulation. I do want to notate that there is a little paint missing on his nose, uh, waist, his legs both go out in and out, the knee bends, they all have this action. So, these are the figures that came out. Now, here's the figure that came out perfect. <laughs> Nero. Nero, out of all the figures I didn't want in this line, is perfect. First off, uh, I'll go ahead and take off his accessories. Uh, he has this very pliable cave, coat. I mean, you could probably, if you worked at it, cut it, um, take it off. I'm not going to. Uh, well, no, it's actually glued to the shoulder, so no. But still very pliable. It's not going to get in the way of any articulation, which is this. His arms can go out, backward, bend at the elbows. His uh, wrists do swivel. His arms do go forward and backward. His head does turn from right to left. Uh, he can stand on his stand. His legs do go forward and backward. They bend at the knees. They have the articulated uh, ankle joints, and he does also turn. He works! He's perfect! In fact... He gets to sit in the ch captain's chair. <laughs> um, this does hinder him from sitting in chairs, however. So. Um, he comes with two accessories. Comes with this little uh, pistol here. It could fit in either hand, but I like putting it in his right hand. Now, this is a very pliable plastic. So, it's not very sturdy, so there's that. Same with his staff, which, as you can see, is very warped, but it's still very gummy. But I think that fits best in his left hand. Like so. There we go. So I don't think he'll stand very well on his own. Oh, I almost had him. I almost had him. There we go. But he works best if you just use the stand that came with him, which is just a black stand with the Star Trek emblem on it. So there you go. Now, there is one figure I downright refuse to open because of the massive disappointment with this line so far. And that is... Original Spock. I just, I can't bear to open him. I don't want to be disappointed. Uh, it is the last... Spock figure um, from Leonard Nimoy, so I don't want to open him up. Um, 
Okay, so some of the accessories, uh, they all came with belts, away belts. They each came with a phaser. And um, the phaser, let's see if I can find. The phaser either was set to stun or kill. Let's see if I can. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Uh, my big complaint is these are kids toys and these were definitely going to get lost. These guns are definitely going to get lost. So, what the hell did the gun... Uh, uh, I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, McCoy. Where's McCoy? That's ah, off. <laughs> McCoy here, he came with, um, uh, looks like maybe a little hyper, hypo spray. Fits best in his left hand. And a little data pad with a sticker, and that bothers me, and I'll explain why. Uh, he doesn't really. Maybe the hypo spray is better off in this hand over here. And his data pad. Data pad in the other hand. There we go. So he holds on a little better. So, those are his accessories. That's what he came with, plus the belt and the phaser. We've got Chekhov. And of course, they came with the bridge pieces. Um, Chekhov, he came with his belt, phaser, and also the same exact data pad um, that McCoy has. Let's see if I can get a shot here. Same exact data pad. No difference. Now the problem with this is the the uh, you can see right here the sticker is peeling off. So I don't like that <laughs> at all. But he also does hold the data pad best in his hand as him and McCoy share the same exact mold. Just different head swap. Now we come to Spark. A Spark came with his utility belt and his phaser. He also came with a swappable hand. It came with his live long and prosper hand. And I'm really sketchy. I mean, this. I'm really scared to swap out these hands, honestly. I really, really am. Um, I'm supposed to just be able to do that. And then take the Live Long and Prosper hand and plug it right in. There we go. So there we go. It actually did work without breaking the peg. So there we go. Because he can't bend his arm very well, that's about as... <laughs> So, but I don't really like that particular hand, and again, I'm going to chance pulling that hand off and plugging this hand back in. Please don't break. Yay, I did it. So, uh, his elbow, I really don't like his elbow movement, because I, you know, I like to have that uh, pose where his hands are behind his back pose and that's kind of how it looks well oh well um that's a bombing kirk pike scotty they all came with their phaser and uh, utility belt they didn't come with anything really spectacular um nero came with the staff and the gun i showed you uh, the other the original spot comes with a replaceable hand, similar to what the other spot had, a holding hand. Alright, so, with that said, and now that I have all the pieces to the bridge, let's go ahead, put the bridge together with the pieces that we got, and see how it looks. So, yeah, here we go. And there it is. That is the completed bridge set with the pieces that we have currently. 
Um, you can see over here, uh, we have half a station right here. All right, you know, there's going to be another piece that goes right here. We have one full completed two-piece station that's right here. Uh, we have a single state over there. We come along the side. We do, again don't have a completed section here or here. Um, we have a section there. We have a monitoring section here. Um, and of course, we have the pieces that came with the initial set and the view screen. So, um, it really sucks that uh, we didn't get the rest of the pieces to this set. Uh, I think it would look incredibly cool, even with the damn markings, that pisses me off. If you want to know the history behind this, uh, check out the previous video that I did. Um, yeah. So, you could see that they were really onto something. It just didn't pan out. They really ticked a lot of fans off by not completing this set. It is a beautiful set. It could have been a beautiful set. One of the best play sets. It's just, it, it has fallen short. And sadly, the play set even like this is still better than the action figures that we got for it. Uh, this has got to be some of the worst action figures I have ever owned. I, I cannot lie. Um, so these were made in um, 2009 by Playmates. Uh, we will never see the rest of the bridge. Uh, there are people who have bought multiple figures uh, to complete the set. Uh, there were there are certain pieces that will never come to be. Uh, just because they were supposed to be specific for Wave 2. But, yeah. And I'm so disappointed with these figures. I don't even know if I'm even going to attempt to complete this. I honestly think I'm just going to box it up and toss it in the closet. I don't... I, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, my Kirk figure can't even sit in the captain's chair. That that's it's it's it's, it's bad. Um, so there you have it. Um, if you dare, these figures you can get on eBay uh, fairly cheap. Uh, these are the 2009 uh, Star Trek uh, Galaxy Collection. Uh, and I do have a couple of the transporter pieces too, if you're interested. Like I said, uh, there we go, right here. Uh, they came with uh, Yohora and Nero. Uh, the other transporter piece comes with original Spock, who I'm not opening. And these go on the transporter. And um, looking at the transporter, I'll show you that real quick. You'll notice on the transporter that it actually has another piece. I am wondering, I have never really seen the transporter before. Uh, I'm thinking this was supposed to come with another figure. Maybe? I don't know. Or this comes with a figure, but I mean the, the missing terminal was supposed to come with a figure. So this will never be completed either. You'll have these three which I guess are important and you will have that so it still wouldn't look as bad as half a bridge missing but you'll be missing that pad so even the transporter is not safe from the missing wave 2 line that's yeah, really sad like I said this toy line had the potential to be an amazing line it could have been something just they, that they continue. They could have continued this line in this action figure form with uh, the other two movies. I would have loved to have seen a Khan figure like this, just in better quality. Um, I would have liked to have seen figures from into, uh, the I forget the name of the last film. Uh, <laughs> uh, just it would have been awesome. It would have been amazing. But we're never going to get them. Okay, so I just want to note that I did get Kirk's leg working. Um, so he is able to sit in the chair. Um, however, everyone else's leg I tried, as you can see Chekhov is still leaning in his chair. Everyone else's leg is still stuck. I can't get it to, you know, when I, when I heard legs Kirk, when I heard Kirk's leg pop, I worried and I broke it. And no, I did not. It actually, um, works just fine now. So, uh, what the hell? So one good outcome out of this, but still... Not the best line. 
But just thought I'd go ahead and notate and fix that little air. His leg does work and he actually looks pretty good sitting in the chair. So, um, we have Pike in a chair. Uh, again, the problem with Uhura not being able to sit, she is also suffering from the same effect the checkoff is, and she's leaning in the chair. Uh, we've got Scotty over here, so it's perfect. Looks great at the counter. And the, 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 the thing. We've got the view screen there, and you can see kind of through there. Oops, she's looking up. So, all in all, I mean, this could not the best set, but you could totally tell the potential that this set had. Very, very sad. All right, well, this has been my review on the 2009 Galaxy Collection action figures and bridge playset. Um, write in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me if I'm overreacting. Um, I could, you know, it just could be me. I don't know. So uh, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, and uh, you have yourself a great day. Thank you for watching. Retro John, Comic TV, out.